Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share a little bit of a haul with you guys. It is um, two drugstore products and then three nail polishes and two lip products that I am excited um, that I were sent to me from a friend. So let me start with the two drugstore items and they are uh, Maybelline color tattoos. The first one is this bad to the bronze color and here's that one. And this is beautiful. This color I purchased because I saw Emily Clark. Um, she used it with another L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow on top. And I did a little tutorial already for you guys with this. Love it. I absolutely love it as a base. Um, even for just a neutral, like, everyday eye, it creates a beautiful, beautiful base. And then if you want to do a dark, dramatic, smoky eye with a darker, you know, chocolate brown shadow, it, it has a beautiful effect. So, really, really pretty. Here is a swatch of that one. And these are kind of gel-like creams um, that are extremely easy to blend and everything. And once they set, they're there. And they really do stay the entire day. So here is that one swatched. It's gorgeous. And then the second one is called Bold Gold. And it is a true gold color. And this one I got interested in after my friend Lori um, from LL4683, I think that's right, I'm probably wrong though. Um, my friend Lori had this on with another gold, no, another like a brown in the, her crease and it looked absolutely beautiful on her, it looked gorgeous. So this I ran out after she had mentioned in a video that she was wearing it, um, I went out and got because it's just gorgeous. And it is a true gold shade and I wanted it because I love, there's the gold and then there's um, bad to the bronze. I wanted a gold base for uh, gold eyeshadows because I have a lot of gold eyeshadows and I love gold eyeshadow, but to me they were off rather fast because they're metallic-y, you know, they have metallic tendencies since the formulas tend to always have metallic, you know, in it, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? No. Okay. They're not like the longest lasting shadows because they are metallic so they flake off. I don't know. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Golds and silvers never really last on me. They end up going a different shade, um, changing on my lid, and just not being metallic enough, if that makes sense. So I thought layering it would be great. So that is the gold one, and it is perfect to, to layer. And then I saw in an ad that they have like some new ones that are like metallic, they're called metallics. One is silver and one is gold. I think the gold might be pretty close to this, but the silver one I am very interested in because I don't have a silver layer. I have like Chanel's Phantasmi, but that's more of a glitter, so I would not use it as a silver base for a silver eyeshadow look. So I'm interested in the silver one. So there's those two. Next, some nail polishes. And I want, uh, well, I've been wanting a Deborah Lippman nail polish, and what I really wanted was the glitters. However, online is not where you should choose your online, your glitter, because there are so many choices and they're just, all of them are so pretty. They're so pretty. I could not choose a glitter online. So I thought I'll have to go and swatch them in person in order to choose a glitter. But I was suckered by these three because they're just beautiful colors. And this is a special collection that Lippman did, Deborah Lippman did with um, some celebrities. So first up is Sarah Smile and this is a Sarah Jessica Parker color and it is just a pretty, very natural looking pink. The next one is called Just Walk Away Renee, and it was created with Renee Zellweger, and it looks like that, and it's just a dark red, a beautiful dark red. And the last one is called Stormy Weather, and it was created with um, Narciso Rodriguez. Beautiful, and I, you know, you, you know I love these gray colors, very moody grays, I love them. So those three, love those. And lastly, these two lip products, which, that's my dryer telling me it's done. Um, Tom Ford has been on my list of lipsticks that I wanted to purchase for some time now. And my friend Prissy from Prissy and Pink on YouTube Instagrammed a photo of this lipstick that she had just purchased, swatched with like other lipsticks that she owned. And one of them that she compared it to was Chanel's Mademoiselle. And Chanel Mademoiselle has also been on my lipsticks to purchase list. They were so similar that she said, what am I gonna do? You know, these are all alike. So I sent her a message on Instagram and said, well, return it, and if you don't wanna return it, I'll buy it from you. 
you can send it to me and I'll buy it from you. So that's what we did. I sent her a check and she sent me the lipstick. And this is absolutely beautiful. It's a Tom Ford. Gorgeous packaging. I always thought these were black. They're not. It's like it's brown. I don't know if it's brown or burgundy, but it's it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous package. And then it's got the Tom Ford TF there. And this is um, 04 Indian Rose. And the packaging is just, I'm a sucker for good lipstick packaging. I love lipstick packaging. Um, but here it is. I've already used it so much that I wore the TF that was on the actual lipstick off. But there it is there. And it's a beautiful, just very wearable rose color. And there it is swatched and it's gorgeous. I think it would look beautiful on anybody. Um, so there is that, my first Tom Ford. And I am a fan of the packaging. I'm a fan of the lipstick. I'm a fan of the way the lipstick stays. You know, it's just a great all around lipstick. So I see more Tom Ford in my future because I love it. I love it. I mean, it's like the YSL lipsticks when I started buying those. I started with one and ended up, you know, now I have like, I don't know, 10 of them or so. It, they're just fabulous. I love them. So this one is just as wonderful. And I knew it would be because I knew, you know, Prissy liked it. She really, she liked the lipstick. It was just that it matched so many of the lipsticks she already had. Um, I knew that if she liked it, I would love it because I, I trust Prissy um, and her opinions <laughs> extremely. Um, well, I think very highly of her opinions. So that, and then to my surprise, she included this, which is a lip gloss, and it's a Revlon um, lip, what are these called? Revlon Color Burst lip gloss, and this is in 004 Pink Ice. Absolutely beautiful. Um, she included this in there, and it is gorgeous. These, the packaging is so much like the Chanel Glossomers. They're, I mean, it's crazy. They're, it's like zany how much alike they are. Um, and then the actual gloss is beautiful. And there it is swatched right there. It's just a very pretty baby pink color and I love it. I love the applicator. It's flat like on these two sides and then very pliable like it really does. You see that? I mean when you're putting it on it goes on super soft and the actual gloss is fabulous. No scent, no smell or anything but it's just beautiful and it stays on your lips. Um, so I really I love this. Thank you Prissy. I was really surprised by it and I really do love it. Um, Oh, much like the lipstick, I plan on adding these to my collection because I really do like the quality of the lip gloss itself. I'm um, beautiful. So thank you so much again. <laughs> um, and that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I really haven't been purchasing too many makeup products lately. Um, I did do like clothing haul, but I shared that video. And that's pretty much it. I've been in this kind of, I have everything I need. Stop. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go. It's getting really loud in here. I will talk to y'all later. Oh, before I leave, my um, lipstick is Max Force of Love. It's a matte color. It was part of the um, Chinman collection last spring, so that's what I have on my lips. But it's a beautiful shade, and I know Revlon does something like this. I don't know the name of it, but there is a lipstick in their line that looks like this. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.